namaste kings and queens welcome back to my channel gods and goddesses i pray that you all are well i pray that you all are taking care of yourselves loving yourselves honoring yourselves and those around you <sighs> listen i have just been drawn to do a reading for the collective we're just going to pull some cards because the energy that I'm picking up on is really fucking heavy. It's so fucking heavy. Um, and the most potent energy that is coming through is hiatus, okay? A break. Um, taking some time out, pulling back, pulling away and certain things, certain projects, certain people, certain thoughts, certain perspectives, um, work. I mean, the list goes on and I'm feeling this energy very strongly um, just in regards to YouTube and posting my channel, things like that. And I feel like I'm waiting to align with my higher self because I keep hearing, you know, take a break, take two months off, take two months off. And eventually I will, like, like I said, I feel like I'm, uh, I'm getting in alignment with that energy, but there's so much that I want to say and that I have to say and that I still need to get out. Or that could just be simply my ego feeling like, no, you still have shit to say. But just as I'm going through it or I'm feeling this way, some of you may be in that energy as well where you're going against the current or you're feeling a bit, res you're feeling a bit of resistance towards your intuition. So I just want to see what this energy is about. Okay, like the video, subscribe if you feel I resonate with you, okay, as a reader, and um, let's see, Holy Divine Spirit Universe Source, what is this energy, what is this energy here? All right, joy, comfort, pleasure, fellowship, harmony, prosperity, ecstasy, glory, spiritual reward, but also the possibility of going over the top. Wonju. A wonju. Uncertain meaning. A secret matter, a mystery, hidden things, and occult abilities, initiation, knowledge of one's destiny, knowledge of future matters, determining the future or your path, her through. So unlocking. the joy and the comfort around certain certain secrets and mysteries surrounding your abilities and your occult knowledge. Your future is looking bright. Some of you guys may be feeling like you're a bit over the top or doing things a bit over the top. But I feel like this is a part of your path or people may be seeing you as someone who is extra. Iwas, strength, reliability, dependability, trustworthy, enlightenment, endurance, defense, protection. So the... 
occult knowledge and the mystery behind you is protected i feel like right now is very important to depend on your intuition a lot of you may be being initiated for some of you it's pleasurable for some of you you're uncertain about it but i see stability in in your future here looking at things for what it is not you know not seeing something as over the top it, it literally is what it is some things are still being hidden from you at this time as it pertains to your occult ability or some sort of knowledge okay so that may be why guidance towards isolation is here so that you can uncover these mysteries and cut it uh, uncover these hidden secrets surrounding your abilities your strength trusting yourself more interconnectedness of past present and future here yeah this is about you the self the individual the human race your attitude towards others and others attitudes towards you friends and enemies and social order hmm. lagus flow water sea a, fer a fertility source the healing power of renewal life energy and organic growth imagination and psychic matters okay so going into solitude to refill your cup something's being birthed something's being fertilized a healing i feel like this healing is bringing renewal is bringing power is bringing in life force energy of or of organic growth and authenticity as your imagination is concerned your intuition is getting stronger your psychic abilities are getting stronger your abilities to heal yourself and others are becoming more and more organic but i feel like this is being revealed to you in solitude okay the more you want to be over the top or seen or liked it's cloaking you even more something about not being ready yet fertilized or fertility this is giving me a just gestation period like it's cooking is in the oven not quite ready so that's why maybe for some people you come off as over the top for others you come off as uncertain maybe people may feel like you don't know what you're talking about for others, they may, be view they may be viewing you as doing too much. Or this may be how you're viewing yourself. With the manas here. So the way you view yourself is for sure the way others will view you. So how are you viewing yourself at this time? If you don't know, it's time to take a break, a hiatus to figure that out, to uncover those mysteries, the, the hidden things about you that make you you, that make you organic, that make you strong, that make you reliable and trustworthy. Um, let me see. There's true protection here for you as well. Wanju, Wanju, yeah, Three of Cups, Knight of Cups, mm, yeah, celebration, happiness, love, compassion, romance is blooming here, yeah, with the temperance, 
So that is something you all fantasize about. Or that you're manifesting. Friendship, true friendship, organic friendship. Some of you guys may need to release some sort of accolades, reward, or acknowledgement for the type of friend you are or the type of partner you are. Some of you guys may need to pull back from doing too much in a friendship or a partnership or a circle group. Uh-huh. Knight of Swords. Some sort of resentment here about that. Some sort of resentment towards pleasure. The title. Queen of Cups. Let me see what this is. Give me one second. Yeah, I keep hearing. And what's that song? Is it too much? Is it too much? Yeah, justice. Faith, belief, honor. Symbolizes solutions for resolving legal cases, law, wise balance. Balance within a contract in regards to love. Something about going over the top in love and pleasure but not really getting the full fulfillment of what you want from this. Okay, something about doing something without wanting something in return that brings about disappointment. Let me see. Why is the Knight of Swords here? Eight of Wands. Fast communication. Justice is still here. So, being pulled in several different directions is what I'm getting. Too much noise here. Yeah, Queen of Swords, time to cut some things off, or people. Two of Wands, Queen of Wands. Focus on you, focus on planning, focus on Sorry, that's the Knight of Wands. Steal. <laughs> Focus on you. Focus on planning. Focus on your forward movement. Yeah, this could be indeci uh, indecision, controversy, difficulty, making a difficult decision towards... Some sort of travel or departure. So it's difficult for you to make a decision to depart from something because it seemingly brings you some sort of pleasure or you enjoy this fellowship. Something, why is, what is this over the top mean? What is this? The sun. Hmm. So it's difficult to depart from something you actually enjoy. Ace of Cups.
the emperor's in the reverse. See, that's why I picked up on something not being given in return. It's like you love something or someone more than you love yourself. You're doing too much over the top. It's over the top. Emperor in reverse is everything opposite of an emperor in the upright. Yeah, some of you guys may need to release an Aries, Taurus, Scorpio. Or this is what will come to you in solitude. Okay, I'm hearing silence is golden. Yeah, Eight of Cups is right here. This is difficult. You're uncertain about this. Perthu. There's a King of Cups. This is something you've been thinking about. You know, the sun again. Knight of Wands again. I feel like this will return, okay? But what you'll find in solitude is more important than what you're getting from somebody here in the earthly realm or earthly plane. Because what you're getting from someone is inauthentic. And Source wants you to become more authentic so you can attract the authenticity within this person you truly love. Some of you guys may need to become the leader or the foreseer or the orchestrator of this union thriving. Yeah, there's the Seven of Cups and the Knight of Pentacles. Putting an ending or a pause towards or to illusion. All right, uncertainty, okay? Seven of Cups can speak about uncertainty as well. Knight of Pentacles speaks about a delay, a pause, a slow-moving energy. Nine of Cups, I feel like you'll be more satisfied if you do that. Ten of Swords is here. Yeah, it's like you need to pull away from the smoke and mirrors, Take some time to go within, reflect, and connect with your occultism. Figure out the true meaning of why you're doing something or being called to do something. Okay, some of you guys could be doing, saying, or dealing with someone out of uncertainty, instability, confusion, like you're doing something don't know why you're doing it saying something don't really know why you're saying it interested in someone don't even really know why right so this knight of pentacles is giving me the energy of connecting with your higher self connecting with source your ancestors god and really coming to terms with this initiation you're being thrusted into so within this initiation comes with great knowledge of your future so can you handle that or or are you in denial of what you're being shown about your future some of you guys are being shown the person that you see in your future isn't the one that god sees for you or the job that you see or the car that you see or the lifestyle that you see is not the vision that god is showing you it's something totally different but it's for your higher good it's for your higher purpose this is what's going to protect and, cult and cultivate and nurture your occult abilities. Night of Wands. Wait a minute, so this is the Page of Wands. I'm sorry. I'm still learning these cards, y'all. Page of Wands, Sun, King of Cups. I feel like you're being supported for others of you by your lover.
some of you may be coming to the realization you are confused about your journey towards spirituality and you want to take a break so that you can dive in so you can really dive in and cultivate your gifts and become stronger what is Ewa's Yeah, Ten of Swords. I feel like this is a detriment to yourself if you don't study your if you don't study to show yourself approved. You become more defensive if you don't get the attention you want. You become defensive if you don't get the acknowledgement you want. You become defensive if you don't you know get the recognition or if people don't trust you like you feel they should. That's because the veil is so thin. For some of us, for others, it's real. It's gone. So real, recognize real. And if you are not being authentic or organic, people will read through that. So this pause may be guiding you to put it into self sabotage, self betrayal, self uncertainty, self inabilities, so that you can really grow and nurture your responsibilities in the occult or in the wisdom of spirituality or whatever it is that you want to do you're being guided to become stronger in it so that you can not only be dependable for you but for the others you are wishing to guide nine of cups yeah this is a wish fulfillment you wish to be trustworthy you wish to be dependable you want to enlighten people um, but for some of you, your endurance may be a little low, and so you become defensive. But through it all, you're still protected. Ace of Pentacles is here. The Chariot. Yeah. Why is the five of swords here? Five of swords. Yeah. Loss, defeat, infamy, betrayal. See? I feel like, too, if you don't take the time to become stronger in your purpose, it makes it easier to be betrayed or to be defeated or misled or mishandled are betrayed by your enemies led astray away from your opportunities there's bigger opportunities here but the more you become grounded in your gifts the easier it'll be for this energy of betrayal or these like I'm picking up conniving the feeling of loss or defeat is your own feelings and the more you dive into that energy you stray away from your opportunities ace of pentacles so you just need to trust yourself more here. Interconnectedness. Four of Wands. Yes, yeah, stability. The Hermit. Yeah, listen. You will find stability within collective, not outwardly. There is stability in your future present in your past the high priestess hold on yeah mm, the hermit and the high priestess wow this is you and your person wow i'm telling you for some of you you are connecting with somebody who gets you who understands you who is with you this person could even be the one telling you to take a break relax start from the start from the drawing board Something like that. There is energy around cultivating your independence, your stability, your foundation, and secrecy. 
and coming out stronger, better, wiser, more enlightened. Also, if you don't if you don't really rock with me, you shouldn't even be subscribed. Okay, I don't know why I felt the need to say that. Um the Harry font. Wow, three major arcanas. Yeah, some of you guys you do want to be some sort of leader. You are a leader. Shit. And this hiatus is you cultivating a stern, firm, stable foundation with the four of wands. With your partner. What's going on with Manas? Two of Cups. Some of you guys are meeting somebody new. Okay. Or this has something to do with friendship. Why is it two of cups here? Ace of Swords calling in genuine people who are going to be honest with you, who are going to be straightforward with you, who are going to be clear with you. Some of you guys are cutting people off, but you, you are gaining clarity around the human race or you're gaining clarity around your attitude towards people or people's attitudes towards you. The uh, judgment, you are awakening here. You're awakening to who you are. Okay, something about, okay, okay, give me one more here. Social order. Six of wands, yep, victory and success. The death card, it was in reverse. So with it being in reverse, some of you guys were or are refusing to listen to your intuition. Take that break. Take two months off, a month off, a few weeks off, whatever. So if y'all don't see me for a minute, this is why. There's victory and success here. For listening to the calling and awakening to your, your gifts. Okay, so that's what I have. I got to go, y'all. Check y'all on the next one. Peace.